it got a name, Dad? Yeah, Mogwai. What? Mogwai. I don't know, some Chinese word. I just call him Gizmo. He seems to like it. Hi. Welcome to Trisha's Makeup World. If you're new to the channel, I'm Trisha. I absolutely love colourful makeup. And this is Pip. <laughs> Today, we're going to be playing with... I'm so excited. I got the Gremlins palette got a little furry lip balm so we're going to be playing with these today uh, and I think what we'll do is we'll probably create two looks um, with the palette. Um, I do have coming which I'm really really excited about um, Odin's Eyes, Angelica Nienquist's um, new collection it's called I think it's Halloween instead of Halloween because obviously our last palette that she did was Hella so I think it is Halloween collection I think there's two palettes and I think there's maybe four lipstick well lipstick lip lip oil lip gloss things or, or maybe even five I'm not 100% sure but I've got all that coming uh, which I'm really excited we'll do um, a video when that comes and I also have P. Louise's budget box coming, which has um, her new Halloween, well, there's going to be one of the Halloween palettes and it looks like um, a spell book. I think one of them is called Hocus Pocus and I can't remember what the other one's called. I think it might be Spellbound, I think. I think, I may be wrong. Um, but anyway, what we'll do is we'll get stuck into the Gremlins path. I think it's so cute. Look, it's got Gizmo on the front of it. It's just so cute. And when you open it up, I'll show you. It has... Um, it's quite a neutral palette. I mean, I do prefer colour, but I mean, it's got, like, you know, some greens and sort of more sort of coppery, bronzy colours in it. I think for the first look, we might do something a little bit more, you know, wearable, shall we say. Um, and then the second look, we'll probably do something like a cut crease um, and we'll take it from there. I've got a cup of tea with me. Do you like my cup? <laughs> it's a little unicorn cup. Because um, summer is officially over. Definitely. I've got a cup of tea just to warm me up because it's just oh it's freezing anyway we'll get stuck in to the collection it's got a little um lip balm i'll open it up so you could see um it's, it's really cute look it's it's furry like gizmo open it up and it's kind of it's just like a a clear lip balm it's got like a sort of a, a fruity scent to it it's, it's really really nice i'm guessing that my daughter caitlin's probably going to steal this <laughs> Uh, she seems to like all the sort of like lip balm, lip gloss things, but it's it's very, very cute. Anyway, we'll jump in and uh, we'll create a look. And I'm going to go in, I think, with... Let me just have a little look at everything and suss what I want to do. I think we're going to go in to this colour here and it's called... I can actually read them this time. Shock horror. Lovable. going to start tapping that in and we'll bring it over but yeah when Odin's eye were doing sneak peeks and I saw that there was going to be two palettes I was like oh my god and then when I realised it was with Angelica Nienquist again I was like right I need this I definitely need it I think it went on sale I think it was Wednesday Went on, went on sale on the website. I think, like, it's still available to get, I think. This is going on kind of like a sort of a more ready colour. It's quite nice. This is my first time trying this brand. It's um, called Mad Beauty. Now, I think I came across them when I was watching um, Robert Welsh. It was a wee while ago. I think he was using... Um, I think it was Disney uh, sort of palettes that he was using. I'm going to go into a slightly 
bigger brush and we're going to go into this one here and that is called Gremlin. I'm just going to bring that colour in and just I'm just wiggling it over that first shade try and blend it out a bit and we'll do the same on the other side bring it right into the corner and I'm just wiggling it over I'm just trying to buff that first colour out basically with it a little bit And then I think we'll go into use this brush. This one here is called Cute. I'm just gonna bring it Try to wiggle it across the colours. Sorry about the delay in the video, it's just waiting on the package getting delivered. I was going to do like um, something else, but I wasn't feeling too great last weekend. That's why there's been a slight delay in it. Still going to be doing my video with my nephew Alex, he is still super excited about it. Can we go back into that first colour again? Love it all. Just to bring some of the intensity back. Kind of wondering if I should go in with this even darker shade here just to darken it up even more. It's called Mog Mogwai. Because that's what Gizmo is. A mogwai. When I saw this, I thought, oh, this is super cute. I thought, I've never ever tried this brand, so I thought, we'll try it. We'll try it. Blend it out a bit. That looks not too bad. And then I think I'm going to run that lovable shade just under as well. It seems to blend really, really nice actually. Really, really, really nice. And then I'm just going to spray my brush, it's a flat brush, and I think I'm going to go into this one here, and it's called Midnight. That's quite cute actually, because yeah, when in the film he's told when he's taking the gizmo, the rules, don't get them wet, don't feed them after midnight. <laughs> They don't like sunlight. <laughs> I'm trying to remember all the rules. <laughs> they break every single rule. Oh, these are actually quite nice. This is quite nice, this shimmer. It's like a normal sort of shimmers. I had to repress this. This unfortunately was broken, so I've had to repress it. I'm going to have to fix it. If 
P. Louise's new palettes that are coming out. Um, look like books. Like I'm, I'm sure it's Hocus Pocus and Spellbound. I'm pretty sure. One's like a sort of a, I can't remember the colour. One of them is black. I can't remember what the colour or the other one is. But they're like a double-sided palette and I know that one of them is going to be in the budget box. And that, this is my first time trying a budget box. Um, so I've never, I'm not, I don't like the idea and not knowing what you're getting, but I mean, I always seem to do sneak peeks of the products that are going to be in the um, palettes, uh, so you know sort of thing. I'm going to go in, I don't normally do a mat like inner, but I'm going to. It's called Mischief. I'm going to put that in the inner, like so. I might actually show that. That's something just, just to try and. That's a bit better. Yeah, like that, that's all right. Right, so I should have said at the beginning, I've already obviously got my base face on. I have new products. Um, Hemish kindly sent me uh, some of their products. So this is like, um, it's called Atlas Glow Tinted Sunscreen. I've been putting it on underneath my foundation. Um, it's meant to have like smooth out your skin. It's kind of sort of like got a pearlescent finish to it. Um, I've noticed that when I put my foundation over it, it does. It kind of makes my skin look a little bit more sort of glowy and dewy. And it does kind of, yeah, smooth out the fine lines a little bit, shall we say. So I've got that on underneath my foundation. And I'm still using Ella Master Foundation. It's all right. I, I don't mind it. It's like a medium coverage. And my brows, I have used the Jenna Tutorials Reloaded palette as well. Um, I'm quite liking that. I'm going to use it's another Hemish product that I got sent. Uh, their mascara on the lashes. I'm actually really liking it. Everybody that knows me knows that I always usually have false eyelashes on all the time. But this has actually really impressed me. Um, it has been giving me quite a nice length on my lashes and giving them some volume. Um, that on. I am putting false eyelashes on <laughs> today though definitely. I think I'm going to take a pair out of here. These are ones I got off Amazon a while ago. Um, they're meant to be like Russian strip lashes and I'm going in with my dual lash. Um, Seems to be quite a lot of like all this sort of Halloween, sort of autumn palettes are beginning to come out or fall, is what they call it in America, isn't it? It's not autumn, it's fall. <laughs> um, what do you call it autumn? I notice there's quite a lot of, yeah, sort of autumn Halloween palettes coming out. Um, I like sort of doing, yeah, Halloween looks. So we'll start doing that. When I do the look with my nephew, he's wanting to do like something like, yeah, he wants to look like he's been shot in the head. <laughs> um, 
not your usual. <laughs> Normally, you'd expect a six-year-old, yeah, let's do Spider-Man or something like that. Not Alex, no. He wants to look like a character from GTA. Um, he wants to look like he's being shot in the head. So, yeah, I think we're going to do the whole, yeah, make it look like he's being shot in the head and do the whole, like, what they do when they get killed in GTA, the wasted. We'll probably do that with him as well. Make it fun. Those lash to stick on. This is why I always stick to tatty lashes usually, but I thought no. Let's do something different. <laughs> These aren't bad. I actually quite like the way they feel. Let's just try and get it to stick. If you're hearing any strange noises, it's my dog, Pip. He's at my feet. I don't think he knows what to do with himself. Usually he jumps on the bed and looks out the window while I'm doing my video, but today's hovering about all over the place. That's not too bad, actually. Right, that's what I'll do. Next, I'm going to go into... This is a new blush. I got it off a of Timu. Um, it's meant to be like a copy of the I think it's Kaja Beauty with the little heart stamp and you put it in like so and then you just kind of like go like so on your cheeks a couple of times Maybe do a bit more I'll do don't know if it's a good copy or if it's just you know <laughs> I think it's all right. It is quite pigmented. That's fine. And then I think we'll go into a Jenna Tutorials Reloaded palette. And I'm going to use this highlight here, which is called Wildflower. I've used this palette on eyebrows as well. Um, I really like using this palette for filling in my brows. Yeah, for the highlight. I even really like the blushes as well. And if you want to create like a sort of natural sort of look, it's quite good for that as well. Now, do I want to put a lot of my nasals and eyes? Don't think so. I think we're going to go in to it's a e perfect um, liquid lipstick for my lips. That's my first look using the Gremlins palette. I actually really like it. Do you know what? The mattes blended out really, really well. I used, I'm trying to think what ones I used. I used the Lovable, Cute, Mischief, and Mogwai. I think I even used Gremlin as well, actually. And then I used Midnight and Destruction for shimmer so far. I actually really like it. Um, it's really, really nice. Um, what I'll do is I'll jump off and take this off, come back, and we'll film the next look. Um, I think the next look will maybe do some, probably another cut crease. I know, a cut crease. I do about a million cut creases, I know. <laughs> but that way we could do get more colours on, be a little bit more creative. So I'll see you in a little minute. Bye. Hi, 
and I'm back again and still want my cup of tea. <laughs> Oh, it's so warm. Right, so we'll jump back into the Gremlins palette again and we will create another look. I absolutely loved the Gremlins when I was a kid. Um, Gizmo, I absolutely loved them. I, I actually wanted a Gizmo. Um, but disappointed when I was told, yeah, they're not real. <laughs> um, yeah, right. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go into wild. It's like a sort of a greeny colour. And I'm going to bring that around like so. Crazy. I like to use an angled brush when I'm doing this. I just I find it easier. To create you know, like your shape. Okay, I'm just gonna wipe that off, and then I think we're gonna go into Lovable again. even and then I'm going to use a little fluffy brush and for the green we're going to go into mischief here and just kind of try and blend it out a bit that mischief shape shape Okay, and then I'm just going to wipe that off again. And then I'm going to go into cute and do basically the same, just kind of like overlapping. Just try and blend that first colour on the outer edge. Okay, I'm going to use a different brush for making that one. Oh, that's a bit better. That's looking quite nice. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over again and just deepen those shades. Bring the, the green in and just bring it around. Can you see me right now? Blending the shades again. That's quite nice. And I think we're going to go in to this shimmer called Stripe this time round. Uh, I'm just going to get my flat brush. I'm going to do the same. I'm going to wet it. Look 
it needs to actually. Yeah. I'm just going to bring it. I'm not going to cover my whole eye with that shimmer. I'm just going to bring it to the edge where I wet and then do. Or maybe I will actually. Do you know what? Yeah. I quite like that. I think I will. Let's put it in the shade. Same as the other side. Just going over the spoons again. Oh, I've already primed my eyes. I've used a P. Lee's base. I think it's zero. Just following that shape around my eyes. And I think, I don't know, I would try midnight in my, in my corner and see what that looks like, the sort of goldy. Oh, that's actually quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that. I might bring it down onto Yeah, that's quite nice. I like that. Okay. And then I think what we'll do for the bottom is we will do like the green and then the red on the bottom as well. Just sticking with the same. It's not red. It's, it's like a, I don't know, like a sort of a, a, like a burnt red almost maybe. Like a, it is red, but yeah, more darker, sort of coppery. Um, right, I had to think about what I was doing. <laughs> uh, do the green here. And then the red colour on the... Okay, and then I'm going to... Alright, I actually quite like that. And then I think because we've gone a bit more sort of dramatic, we'll use a more dramatic lash. Um, we'll use these. I'm going to go in with the Hemish mascara again. I'm really liking it. I'm really funny about mascaras. I don't know if you recall maybe a few videos back when I got one off a of Timu because my favourite one I'd run out, my Lash Princess one. And I tried using it and oh my god, it smudged underneath my eyes, it looked like a panda, it was just, it was horrible. <laughs> That's fine. Yeah, I really like this mascara, it's given length. I think it's maybe just transfers a little, but it doesn't, like, you can wipe it away and no bother. It doesn't, like, some scars, when you do that, you'll get a big black line when you do it. You don't with that one. Right. Yes, we'll go in to these lashes. Um, I'm using the dual lash. I don't know what these are, what are they called? Oh, I cannot read that. Pie. Pie lash, that's what they're called. Pie lash. Okay. Put my 
use a glue on this pen. Yep. Right. These are not bad actually, these ones, Pyabash, whatever they're called. <laughs> I can't remember where I got these from, but they're nice. Maybe a little bit <laughs> over the top for your normal everyday wear, but if you're doing something quite creative, yep, yeah, you could definitely get away with these. Next, um, lipstick. Uh, I'm sure we'll do the same. Or, let's see. Or will we do something different? I think we might go in with this shade instead. No, we won't. We'll go in with this one. I'm going back in with the Be Perfect one again. I might lighten it. I'll wait and see. And then we'll go into my Jenna tutorials. I've got the same foundation on again, the Ella Masca, and I've used the Hamish uh, stuff underneath as a primer again as well. And I'm just going in again to the highlighter from Jenna tutorials palette. Like so. I don't even think I've got blush on actually, do I? Oh, hang on, we'll put some blush on. I'm just going to use it from the palette, the, the pink one. And that is my final look. Um, I actually really like uh, their formula Mad Beauty. I think it's really, really good. Um, I think it's really cute, but you know, gizmo on the front. Um, for a sort of more sort of neutral leaning palette, I actually really like it because I'd say this colour here is more, it looks brown in the palette, but see when you're putting it on your eyes, it's more like a brownie red. It's really, really nice. Now, obviously, you've got the greens. There is obviously more browns in here, more sort of neutrally. You know, it is more like a neutral palette, but no, I really like it. It's a, like a sort of more autumn sort of colours, isn't it? Or fall, if that's, you know, you call it fall in America. Um, it's very, very nice. The shimmers are really, really nice. They're more like your traditional sort of shimmers uh, within the palette and the mattes blend really really well um the little lip gloss uh, lip balm is so cute with the little <laughs> funny bit there i really like it a lot um i'll probably create more looks with this palette you'll probably see them in the shorts or if you you know check out my tiktok you'll, you can see them on there as well and i will be back very soon Hopefully, with Odin's eyes, new Kayla Ween colour. <laughs> um, getting all tongue tied there if you're in a wee shop. <laughs> um, uh, Halloween collection. <laughs> um, Angelica Ninquist's new collection. Uh, there's two palettes, so we'll probably try and do a look with each and we'll use some of the lip products and we'll probably revisit and create other looks with it with it being a bigger collection and we may visit the revisit the gremlins one again as well um i've got that coming i've got a palette 
from P. Louise, one of her new ones. I don't know which one it'll be in the budget box. We'll maybe do an unboxing. I've never ever had um, a budget box before. I like to know what I'm getting, but I do know that obviously, yeah, they do sneak peek, so you, you see what you're getting. Um, so this is like, I'm, I'm going to try it, see what I think. And I'm trying to think what else I've got coming. I've also got, oh yeah, from a and &E Cosmetics, I've got a palette, pigments and lashes coming as well. So we'll try that. It's a more smaller indie brand. We'll maybe create a look with that as well. And obviously, we'll be doing a look with my nephew very, very soon. So stay tuned for that. And we'll see you all again very soon. Bye!